So we are playing three tables of uh, three, six, two, four, and two, four. Mostly short-handed, so pretty exciting action. Queen, queen, nine, gonna use a range bet strategy out of position here, defending the ace four, defending all offsuit aces. Uh, five, six is an easy fold from the button. Uh, King, we're going to start polarizing here. Probably not with this particular combo. We'd prefer Broadway combos with better blockers. Uh, pretty easy check raise here with the top trips. Um, pretty high check raise frequency on 4-4 jack, assuming in position players. Range betting. Uh, here we do have to defend the pocket sevens. It is close. Uh, he does three bet. Um, I mean, I could even just jam, actually. Four bet could call. Uh, here it's always a 3-bet against the 3x open. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that particular spot. Could look that one up. I do think he's actually somewhat strong after he 3-bets uh, that on the flop. Uh, range betting here um, on the paired board. Pretty easy open with the queen jack off. Uh, that's a very big 3-bet, so we're just going to fold. Pretty easy fold. Oh, that was a small mistake. Should have defended the king-3 offsuit. Should be defending all the offsuit kings versus sizing. Uh, okay, here we are in a single raise pot against a small blind. I do think he's a weaker player. Um... Here we're going to use large or check. Oh, shit. Wait, what happened here? Did I call... Oh, I accidentally had the call any on. Um, so he called the flop. I mean, we can still get value. Um, going to go for this line and check back river, targeting like pair plus straight draw hands. Uh, pretty easy three bet here with a pocket eights. Heads up. <coughs> Against a, what I perceive to be weaker rate, going to be range bidding there. We do flop top set, pretty good flop, obviously. Going to use large or check on this mid, mid, mid board. Uh, 10 does complete some straights for both players. I'm probably going to use large or check here. Going to go for the check all with this combo. Um, here I can do whatever. I can bet small or I can check. I'm going to go for the check. Uh... Do reverse straight, 8, 9, 10, jack, queen. I'm just going to target two pairs with this. I uh, does bet small. I think I should be raising here. Uh, if I raise this sizing, I think I just jam it. Yeah, I just go for the jam. Hoping to get called off by queen x. Or like random pairs, unfortunately. Get the fold there. Uh, we do face a slightly larger 3-bet. I mean, this deep, we can defend the pocket 4s. Facing a small 3-bet, defending the pocket 8s, and we flop another set. 4s uh, with a club. I do expect out of position to go large here. I do need to defend this with the backdoor straight and flush draws. I'm uh, going to go for the 3-bet, the queen 10. Uh, he checks. I'm going to use a small stab sizing. Uh, do flop a queen. Reasonable. I'm going to go small here. Uh, checks. I'm going to bet small with um, high frequency to deny equity from overs. Uh, we do flop tr turn trip queens here. I think we should probably go. I'm just going to go for a half pot sizing. Uh, I'm going to go start polarizing here. And he just checked jams. Uh, probably do not have to defend. Yeah. And just going to go for the rip on the river for about pot size jam. Um, here, thinking of jamming or betting large. Uh, just going to go for the OB jam. Uh, we do flop middle pair against half pot. Pretty clear defend here. We do turn the trips. Going to go for the small donk lead. Uh, Going to be doing this at very high frequency. Uh, we did get paid off, luckily, with the pocket eights. 
pi a squared. <clears throat> um, what happened here? We donked the turn. Um, I do feel like the flush is probably better for the inquisition player. I'm gonna go for the check jam. Although my line is kind of suspicious after I like, <laughs> after I time bank check. I think he should be somewhat sus here. I'm uh, gonna go for the check jam with the uh, full house, obviously. Uh, here we're going to go large or check this combo with a straight blocker. Uh, we, we have some barreling opportunities, so we could use this as a bet combo. Um, Ace, we do turn a bit of showdown. I mean, I could bet for value. Hmm. Could check, go for river value. That's reasonable as well. And hoping for a call here, obviously, by a flush or... Yeah. Uh, pretty easy call here on river. And we do beat the uh, straight draw turn bluff. Pretty easy fold with 10-3 offsuit. <clears throat> uh, facing a reg size 3 bet from small blind, pretty clear defend with a jack suited. Uh, Going to be defending at 100% frequency, never forbidding the suited component. 7-9-10, uh, very good board for the in position player. Um, does improve both of our ranges quite a bit. So I do expect them to check at high frequency, so I will be using the smaller stab size, uh, hoping to deny equity from ace-king, king-queen type of hands. Uh, we will be calling a check raise if it's not too large with the nut straight draw. That is a pretty large check raise. So if we call here, the turn SPR is going to be like one to one. I uh, do feel like I do have to defend here with the ace high. Uh, 10 is a pretty good card for the in-position player. Uh, he should be checking here at a high frequency. I am going to go for the stab. Uh, it would suck to get check jammed on, but I think we will get check jammed on at some frequency. But um, I still think it's fine. It puts his range in a very tough spot. And uh, does he ever fold here? That's the fucking problem. Does he ever call turn to fold river? Yeah, I just don't think he folds. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, here we're going to start. Uh, we can check back this combo. Uh, here we do flop top pair. Good raise or call. Went for the call there. Uh, here, what's the nuts? Ace 10. He just overbets. Uh, good bluff here at some frequency, but just going to fold. Uh, three bet with the pocket queen is pretty easy. Three bet. Uh, here we're going to go for the smaller stab sizing. Usually using smaller stabs after they go bet check. Uh, this guy's been taking some interesting lines. He's been going for like the double check raises against me. So mm. uh, here, pretty easy check back. And he rivers the ace. It seems reasonable. Uh, here we do have... Uh, a lot of back doors. We're going to go for the check raise. Could have check called as well with that combination. Uh, King, pretty good card for the in position player. So probably going to be checking here at a high frequency. I'm just going to give up with this combination. Um, eight is pretty good for me, actually. Four, five, six, seven gets there. A lot of my bluffs get there. So I'm actually going to bet this for a larger sizing. Especially with the seven of spades, which is a good blocker. Do get called by the ace five with a spade, which is uh, reasonable. Uh, do open the queen eight. Uh, on this board, I'm going to go for a check at very high frequency. Could range bet exploitatively. Uh, Monotone going to be using pretty high check frequency, although exploitatively, I think betting small does fine. Uh, here on the turn 10, I think it's pretty good for me. Uh, I'm going to go for the small bet. In theory, it's probably like large or check, but yeah, whatever. And he does go for the raise. I actually don't think he has that much 10x um, after he checks for... I do have to call once. Um, hearts is actually pretty bad because it improves a lot of IP's, um, turn raise range. So we're going to go for the give up on the river. Check, check, and we do win. Uh, calling the ace nine here. Uh, ace high board, three bet pot, we are going to see bet with range. Uh, we do have a straight 
blocker but no flush blocker here we're going to go for large or check going to go for the over bet here and uh, against array is pretty easy fold a lot of asex in our range that we can defend uh in theory this is meant to be large or check but like betting one third does fine as well probably should be kind of polarizing flop against someone with a 16 percent check raise uh gonna be betting one third on all ace high flops heads up Yeah, like, thankfully I've studied range bet and non-range bet spots, so I am comfortable splitting flop ranges against a player who check raises a bit more aggressively. Although I feel like even the players who check raise the most aggressively are not doing it enough. Like, 16% and 13% check raise frequency is, like, it's high for population, but it's not that high. Like, I have 19%. Um, I'd say I'm doing it a little bit more than I should. 9-8 uh, is, like, mostly 3-betting, so we're going to go for the 3-bet. 6-9, <coughs> pretty easy fold. Let's see how we're doing here. We are up, like, quarter of a buy-in. We are down, like, one-sixth of a buy-in. And we are up one buy-in. Somewhat swingy session, we uh, did donate a stack to uh, Ace-9 is like borderline, could, could, like all three options are on the table. Uh, I'm gonna go for the fold, I think in theory it is mostly folding. Uh, close. Okay, I just checked my charts. Uh, it is actually mostly defending, so I made a mistake there, small mistake. Uh, should be defending all Ace- nine off combos and most ace eight off combos uh, mixing in some four bets um on the flip side i do think these players are three betting slightly less than equilibrium probably so not a huge mistake Yeah, this guy's stats are very interesting. Suggest is mostly playing, like, shorthanded. Um, I haven't paid that much attention to him, whether he is using the reg sizes. Uh, is he? I think he is. Yeah, this guy is definitely not a reg, given his 3-bet sizing 3x. This guy is, like, a bad reg, given stats... This guy is a very strong and aggressive reg, given his lines. Uh, I'm going to go for the 3-bet with the ace-jack suited, 100% uh, frequency 3-bet. Uh, we do flop, not flush draw, SPR around 6. I mean, we could go either way here. Um, large bet should do fairly well here. I'm going to defend the 9s against the larger reg 3-bet. Could go for the 4-bet at low frequency. Uh, Ace-king, pretty easy 3-bet here. Um... Do expect out of position to check here at high frequency on um, monotone, and I will check back at high frequency as well. Uh, not a great board for me. Uh, the king and jack do improve a lot of OOP's range. Against one third sizing, I do have to defend at a fairly high frequency. Um, this combo is probably very close. Without the spade, I'm just going to, I mean, club, just going to fold. Uh, we do flop top pair here. Should be going for large or check on queen jack nine. Actually, heads up, like you can range bet these boards as well. Either seems reasonable. Uh, four doesn't help much of out of position players' range, and I do think they're somewhat reggy, so they should be like um, three betting a lot of the um, two pair combinations, like queen jack, jack nine, um, queen nine. So we are going to go for the large size. Could go for an over bet here as well. Uh, on the Diamond River, just going to check back here. As it's hard to get value from worse, and uh, it does improve the flush draw component of OOP's range. Uh, flush cards are generally better for OOP in that spot. Defending the Jack-6 suited, defending all suited Jacks heads up. 
Uh, Jack Nine King, he could go for like either small range bet or like. Ugh, this is really shitty. Uh, it's very close. I'm actually just gonna fold because like I will be facing a lot of turnover bets, and without a ten or a queen in my hand, it's pretty bad playability. And um, yeah, like the turnover bet just turns my hand into zero EV. Um, and like without the backdoor flush, I think. Yeah, it's close, but yeah. Uh, okay, so we bet one third on the flop here with range. Um, eight does improve the nine jack off component of range. Still going to go. So we probably can't over bet, but we still can go for the large bet here. Put a bit of pressure on like one pair type hands. And yeah, river is an ace, which makes any jack a straight. Uh, somewhat close to the bottom of range here. I don't like bluffing with Miss Flush Draws, although this particular combo, like, doesn't have that bad blocker effects. I will just give up here and, uh... Did he have a straight on the turn? Yeah, I think he should raise turn. Okay, um, against a small 3-bet heads up, pretty easy call with the King Jack. Uh, 2 three, nine does not improve much of his range, so... We will be defending the King of Diamonds Jack. Uh, it was pretty close against sizing... Um, nine's probably a good card for me, so he should be doing a fair amount of checking here. Uh, I'm going to range bet on a, uh, paired high board, uh, against a double barrel, pretty clear fold. Opening the fours from the button, we'll be opening any pocket pair from the button. Uh, against a check raise without a spade, pretty easy fold. Uh, against this sizing, uh, why am I not topped up? Shit. Okay. Uh, 710 is mixed. Let's throw in the call here. We've been through betting this guy quite a bit. Ace high board, pretty good for him, obviously. Just gonna fold here with no pair, no draw, no equity. Gonna be calling a 3-bet, especially smaller sizing. Oh, we got the pocket of the aces. Let's see if we can win a stack here. Ah, uh, 3-bet pot, ace high... I'm going to bet here for equity denial. Uh, I'm going to go for the 4-bet, pretty easy 4-bet here, 100% frequency. Hoping for a call or 5-bet, obviously. Uh, he does go for the small check raise, pretty easy defend here with the back door and the middle set blocker. Uh, so 4-bet pot, 10-7 deuce. Um, obviously not too happy at like the fact that he can have the top two sets. Um, but, like, pretty happy to stack off here. Um, here we went check-check on the turn after he check-raised me on the flop. Um, I don't think any of his flushes take this line. I just don't think he believes me, though. That's the thing. We do have a bit of showdown. Wow, he does river the... Oh, pair. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check back here against a rake who's check-raising a lot. Queen-5 was close. Opening all aces from the button. Uh, he does go for the overbet. Pretty easy to defend with a pair. Uh, gonna go small here. Uh, against block sizing, pretty easy call. He does go for the raise. Pretty clear defend here with the gut shot. Eight, probably, yeah, he's checking, so... I'm uh, going to go for the small stab. I will do this at a very high frequency against all um, check-raise checks. Uh, so I won't check-check on the turn. I'm going to go for the block sizing on the river, um, targeting pocket pairs under the nine, weaken nine X. Uh, we did go for the open with the King 7. Uh, King 8 is the bottom of our GTO opening range, but against what I perceive to be a fish, I will be opening slightly wider, like a couple of combos wider. Uh, should be large or thick check in theory. I think one third does fine as well. King 3 is a defend. 
Uh, he does go for the check raise. Pretty easy fold. I think this guy's a reg. Uh, we do have a gutty, so we do have to call. We don't actually have any king queen, which is like annoying. Jack is good for me. I'm thinking of leading, but I can't really because I don't really have any of the nuts. So, yeah, very good board for the in position player. 10. We do have quite a lot of full houses here, actually. Might go for the. Does he check back a jack? Does he check back a 10? Uh. Gonna go for pot. Uh, trying to fold out, like. Wait, that was fucking retarded, was it? I was thinking of folding out pairs, but pairs get counterfeit anyway, so. Hmm. Ah, uh, pretty clear over bet. Okay, well, uh, we'll have a look at that one. I don't think Asex folds to my sizing. Yeah, I probably should go for overbet or check on that with the king three. Uh, he calls. I will just check this back. I'm going to go through a polar strat on turn. Pretty easy through bet with the pocket eights. Ace jack, pretty easy through bet. Uh, decent board for me. Going to be going for one third at a high frequency. Think it does pretty well exploitatively. Although I did say he was a reg, so. Hmm. Seven hearts. Heart is bad for me. Seven is good for me. So we're going to go for the check here. Um, using higher check frequency on flush completing turns. Um, ten of hearts. Uh, probably just going to give up. I should probably study this a little bit more in terms of bluffing ranges on, like, four flush. Um, against pot, pretty easy fold. I could jam, that would be a bit sick. Because I do have all the full houses, so I do need some bluffs. Yeah, I would say I definitely have a check jam range here. Oh shit, misclick. Uh, I was meant to open that. Not a big mistake though. Uh, against this retarded 3x sizing, pretty clear defend with the jack 9. Uh, he checks. I'm just going to go for the range stab. I don't think he defends this line enough. He does. He probably does defend flop quite a bit. Turns, I can like profitably barrel quite a bit. Not on this particular turn though. Just going to go give up because it improves uh, a lot of his uh, flop check call range uh, I gotta go for the range bet on king high uh, probably should be going large or checking here uh, I'm just gonna give up here I don't think he actually folds I don't think he checks to fold there not much Full five of pretty clear defend. Just gonna auto fold here. Uh, against larger sizing, uh, kind of want to do this, but yeah, probably can just fold. Yeah, against smaller sizing, pretty clear check raise there. Uh, defending all suited kings against three bets. Uh, very good board for the in-position player. I think he should be using a high check frequency or a large bet. I uh, do have to defend with a pair of fives. Ace, I expect him to start polarizing on this card. Pretty good card for him. Although, like, Ace-X should not really be betting flop for that size, but yeah. 
Just gonna go for the check back here. Don't need to deny that much equity. Um, against this sizing, I mean, I don't have any pairs. That's the problem. Like, I don't have any of the strong value hands. I'm going for the check back here. Hope to beat, yep, check nine off. Oh, I feel like that combo should probably barrel, actually. But, hmm. Uh, actually, probably a small mistake folding the 2-9 off, so probably should just 100 V-pip. Uh, queen 5 is very close. Yeah, because, like, against this player with, like, fold to C-bet stats, um, probably a lot of auto-profit spots. Uh, check, check on flop. What's the nuts? 8 queen? 8, 10. Wait, yeah, we do have a pair. Yeah, as you can see, I'm making a few mistakes playing um, this many tables. Uh, with a flush draw, good raise, good call. Go for the call. I usually raise my flush draws, so I'll play a little bit aggressive. I mean, passive. Mix it in. Uh, with the 10 high flush, probably just going to call if he bets here. Um, on the river, probably can... Oh, shit. I was meant to bet large. Maybe this will level him, though. <laughs> yep. 2-5. Mm, uh... Not that close, actually. That was uh, unfortunate. My finger slipped and I double-clicked the bet button. Uh, I was going to bet, like, three quarters. Uh, 7-4, pretty clear fold. 10-8, pretty clear fold. 6-3, pretty clear fold. Uh, king high board, um, going to bet small with range. Queen's on a king high board, going to bet small with range, looking to check a lot of turns. Uh, we probably will call a check raise. Seven's pretty clear three bet here, 100% frequency. Ace high board, going to go for the small bet. Um, Ace Broadway is generally pretty good for the out of position player. Going to be using very high bet frequencies on those boards. Against this raise, uh, pretty clear fold with the under pair. Have much stronger parts of range to defend with. Here we see betting with uh, the 5 8 on the 6 high board. Uh, do face a call. I mean, here I could even bet again to deny equity from, like, overs, random overs. Although it does improve 3-4, and it's not that easy to get value from worse. Uh, I do have to call a check raise against what I perceive to be a reg with a pair. Check. Pretty clear check back here. Queen four. I mean, I think if he barrel, if he if he check raises turn, he should probably barrel river with that particular combo. So we'll take a note of that. He's kind of shutting down on the rivers after check raise bluffing. So we will fold slightly uh, more to his uh, triples. Queen ten. Uh, it's actually very close. It's going to lean towards a fold. With a spade, obviously, is a defend. All right, I will wrap this session up after playing the last positive EV hands. Ah, uh, that was a small mistake. I uh, should defend the queen nine suited. I mean, offsuit. Uh, 
uh, sea bedding with range on a spoiled by X with the back door. Pretty clear fold here with the 6.7, no draw, no pair. I'm uh, going to see about here, high frequency. I do turn a pair. Could like overbet or check. Probably just going to check all with this combo. Uh, so turn went check check. I mean, I could, I could do like this. I'm uh, going to stand up here, and on this table we get check raised. Um, going to defend the pair. Pretty close to defend. Um, Spade is pretty bad for us, so he can do a variety of things here. Uh, pretty clear fold once he takes that sizing. I'm gonna stand out. I mean, sit out. Uh, against 2.5x, pretty clear defender with King 8. Uh, King of Hearts here could, uh, should be floating here, unless he goes for, like, pretty large sizing. Uh, against the sizing, I think it's pretty clear defend here with the King of Hearts. Uh, four, gonna go for the lead. I think population plays pretty bad against this. They don't raise enough with like top pair kind of hands, over pair kind of hands. So I get to realize pretty well. Uh, two is pretty good. Uh, gonna go for a large bet. Um, gonna go for an over bet to try to fold out Jack X. And uh, like pocket pairs below the Jack. And 9-2, I'll just uh, sit out.